I just had a message from Cruella. <laughs> She's very pleased with the way things are going. <laughs> right. November. And so all too rapidly October becomes November, or should that be Movember? An edict goes out from CW suggesting that Bosom Sailing Club should join the Mo movement. CW, why not? I think that's good. We'll carry that on, CW. <laughs> Where is he? He's gone. He's gone to Italy. He's gone to Italy. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, right, okay. Uh, the Boston Sailing Club should join the Mo movement to raise awareness of prostate cancer. Hooray! The net result of this is a lot of very dodgy men spotted walking around Boston. Do I not need the microphone? <laughs> not normally. <laughs> Steve Tomlinson ends up with more on his face and on his head. Peter Hankey goes for the all over look. Roger Powley shaves off his beard and moustache that he's had for 20 years, and far, far too many people crack the joke off. How pleased I am to see that both of you and Adrian are entering into the moustache growing competition. <laughs> <laughs> That's not big. That's not clever, and it most certainly is not funny. No. <laughs> John O'Brien's tash looks as if a rather large caterpillar has taken up residence in the top <laughs> And all are mightily relieved as the day of the great shave looms closer. The acts for this evening's performance start coming forward, some keener than others. Dawn Cheshire is a... Oh, yes please, me girl. Whilst others have to be bribed and cajoled, Tim Brown. Our finale starts rehearsing, and Leslie Hankey starts hoarding gin and be done feel better pills as she questions her sanity in accepting such a thing again. <laughs> this is the month of class dinners. The classic day boat fleet have theirs, and Chris Welland is her busy offering other people's services for this review. The dinghy supper is a great success. Greg Grant wins rather a lot. And don't we know it? Though as Gavin points out, if as Gavin points out, if there was a party for the number of people who have crewed for Greg, they would fill the other hall. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline Perkins is rightly the guest of honor. Yes, yes. And the cruising fleet have a jolly slap up affair in their relaxed circumstances. And plans are hatched for the great Movember removal. December. The evening of the great shave off sees an assortment of the truly glamorous and the truly dodgy arriving at Bosom Sailing Club. <laughs> Amongst the truly glamorous are Tim and Suzanne Brown and Brenda and Caterpillar O'Brien. And amongst the truly dodgy is Peter Hankey, who arrives clutching a rubber shark. <laughs> Terry Thomas, who says he's Stephen Smythe. And Super Mario, who arrives as Rob Guest. The most mysterious arrival is the lady in red, who looks frightfully <laughs> chic, apart from her beard. <laughs> Everybody has a jolly time, and picking the winners has proved to be a very difficult task for the judges. Rosie Hanbury, Jane Mendelssohn, and Nikki Chappell, who make it perfectly clear that they are open to bribery. But strangely, nobody seems desperately keen to win a Moscow. <laughs> that is, apart from Tony Morrow, who is in London. <laughs> Through the wonders of modern communication, Andrew Young has contrived a video leak link to Tony. In a quiet moment, this has been tested, and Lindy is able to work it perfectly. At the appropriate moment of judging, Chris Welland announces that we are to go to the, our out-of-town Moscow winner, Q Tony. <laughs> now, 
Tony's been out to a very good Christmas night. <laughs> back here at Bosnum are treated to the sight of a man with curlers in his moustache, onions around his neck, and a very perched at a very rakish angle that completely obscures his face, shrieking, allo, allo. <laughs> he quite obviously can't hear a word that anybody in Bosnum is saying to him, and the link is sadly cut short. <laughs> But that does not prevent a very large sum of money being raised for prostate cancer awareness. Yay! Yay! 2,900 quid. Yes. The club becomes Christmassy, beautifully decorated by Miranda Pauly, Kaz McPherson, Rosemary Hanbury, and their team of helpers. And rehearsals for this event continue apace. Some people, though, go to extraordinary lengths to get out of playing the piano, dancing, or building a stage. Adrian Weller, for instance, decides the only way to avoid his wife rebuking him into action is to have his hip replaced. <laughs> Rather extreme, but undeniably effective. <laughs> Quiet chaps, quiet. Another of our performers this evening who works, out, who works in a particularly male environment takes his rehearsals to extreme by gaily dancing his way out onto a building site. His arrival there is met with silent and comprehension as a lot of very large, nervous men shuffle backwards over <laughs> our star performer. <laughs> The carols are always a Christmas highlight, and this year is no exception. We are organised by Rosemary Hanby, Hanbury and managed by Roger Powley. The highlight of the evening possibly being the 12 days of Christmas, which is shouted or sung according to one's musical abilities. And at this stage, the minutes of the club review of the year come to a halt. And let us all raise a rounding... Rounding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 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 let's all raise a very loud cheer for Corella, who sadly, though she can't be here, needs to hear from us. Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip! Hooray! Hip! Hooray! Somebody will no doubt take those minutes on from this stage, and next year you will be able to hear about the pedals and mixing crystals with rehearsals. But until then, thank you, and we hope that you have enjoyed our review of this year. Yay!